Good morning, folks. SDO satellite still down, but solar watching still on point. If you missed the June 24th morning show, it's Observer Vacation Week, and videos will be intermittent. But today's a video day as we come to the last 24 hours on our star. Proba 2 swap in 174 angstroms from ionized iron in the solar corona. Just minor activity on the Earth-facing disk, but we're watching the thin snake-like plasma filaments for eruptive activity and the active region just south of the equator as it has begun minor solar flaring. The coronal hole stream anticipated in the solar wind has arrived and the speed of the plasma flow has increased, driving a minor and short-lived geomagnetic storm overnight. It is waning back this morning. Two bits of science to hit today as the first involves the annual breakdown of the polar vortex. When sudden stratospheric warmings occur, we have traditionally noticed enhanced geomagnetic effect on the mesosphere in the polar region. This helps to drive the equator where traveling waves that affect the entire planet via the ionospheric ceiling of the global electric circuit. Learning more here about that sneaky path for enhanced solar forcing of the atmosphere. But the big story is that tomorrow will be the fastest day on record. Hopefully we recall that the last several years have all broken the fastest marks as we dip into negative leap territory for the first time in recorded history, breaking the fastest day several times on that shorter scale. And that record is going to fall tomorrow. Earth is set to experience the shortest rotation period due to the increased rotation speed. The days grow shorter, faster, and this is icing on top of not only the crustal rotation, but the core excitation surges we've seen as well. We expect all of this to eventually affect the crust mantle boundary at the low velocity zone and help unlock the crust for the great disaster in Earth's near future. We've seen it, predicted that the preposterous records would continue to be broken, and tomorrow, Earth enters new territory. We greatly appreciate your support. To learn more about everything involved in this ongoing event, which is not only affecting Earth's rotation, magnetic field, and climate, but also affecting the entire solar system, watch the Earth Disaster playlist below the video. We will see you sporadically over the coming days as Observer Vacation Week continues, right here, but right now it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.